Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Now the simplest meaning to this proverb is, if a child is taught all the right habits, such as polite manners, respecting others, being modest, and so on and on, then these habits will not depart from them as they get older. How important then to teach children good habits. But drop down another level, and this proverb is saying something extra. It says this, train up a child in the way that he personally should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The proverb is seen to refer to a specific child, not just any child. And the guidance is that the parent trains up that child in the way that is especially designed for that child. He has latent gifts, latent talents and qualities that need releasing. And the one best suited to assist in this is the one who loves him, usually his mother or his father. Now, some children are more sensitive than others. Some are more thoughtful. Some quickly grasp an idea whilst others take a little bit more time. Neither one is better than the other. They simply have different qualities. A diamond isn't a ruby. Neither is an emerald a sapphire. In today's society, it is increasingly the case that if you don't conform to the majority, you fall by the wayside. Now, if these people in their sense of rejection and failure, turn to the Lord. His love releases the qualities that are within them. Now, have you marveled at the amount of precious stones present in the New Jerusalem? If you need to, refresh your memory by reading Revelation chapter 21. There are precious stones absolutely everywhere, in the foundations, in the walls, and in the gates of the New Jerusalem. And these precious stones represent us. All of us are so different, so very different, one from the other. God found us in the deep and dark places of the earth. Everything about our lives is carefully selected in order to bring out the full glory of emeralds or rubies or diamonds, and we will be part of the glory of the new Jerusalem. If you've put your faith in Jesus, then God sees you as without sin. And he says, how lovely you are.